Hey guys, Aces here from Netplay Marketing, and in this video what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys about how to make money online from home. Now chances are that if you're watching this video, this probably isn't the first video you're watching and probably won't be the last video when it comes to this topic, but I really do appreciate you taking the time to check out this particular video. Now if you're, you know, you're in the kind of research mode right now, maybe like I was a couple years ago when I you know, jumped online, trying to figure out you know how I can make money online from home when I first started it was just to kind of add supplementary income to, uh, to my current job but then it became you know where I wanted to kind of make this a full-time thing and so what I want to do guys is I want to share with you guys what you know kind of some of the insight that I've learned over the last few years and really just for a breakdown for you guys the three main ways that I've made money online and the one way that's honestly changed my business altogether Right, so whether you're looking to make a part-time income, whether you make, want to make this a full-time income, I kind of want to give you guys kind of the answers and hopefully some insight that'll hopefully get you to get there. Um, and so, if this is the first time you kind of you know, jumping onto my channel, I would really appreciate it if you find value in the video to definitely give the video a like, as well as subscribe to the channel, as I'll be sharing with you guys a lot more insights in terms of how you can build the business online, how you can scale it up. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I actually have a special uh, you know training that I can give you guys completely for free. Or if you're you know antsy about it, you can go right to the description right now and head over there to, to get that free training. But basically, I'm teaching you how you can go ahead about you know building up your own business but I'll talk a little bit more about that later on all right so let's first I you know jump into into here and talk about you know can you really make money online so I really want to just kind of answer this question because a lot of people who you know are doing this kind of research are kind of skeptical Right, when it comes to working on you know online and the big reason is because they feel like it's maybe like working online is something that's a little bit scuzzy or or scammy or anything like that like you're gonna have to rip, rip people off for you to be able to make money online and nothing can be further from the truth uh, you know as you do more research right there de there's definitely people out there who take that route right where they go and they try to rip people off to make money for themselves but you know I think that that's just you know bad juju and, and bad karma for themselves right and eventually you know catches up with them but there are definitely some real ways that you can go ahead and make money online Line and um, and you you know you just kind of have to kind of put in the work for it and, and and you'll definitely scale up your business so that you can you know make the type of income that you want to from your business and so I kind of want to share with you guys that with that here in this video so. Um, before I really jump into the three different models that I want to share with you guys here in this video, what I wanted to do is I wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight in terms of something that really changed the way I looked at my business and really would determine you know which route I wanted to go with when it came to making money online. So basically what I did is I, I sat down one day and I was like, you know what, I have this goal that I want to do, which is hit $10,000 a month. And so I thought to myself, you know, what are the different ways that I could potentially make this happen, right? So I basically sat down and I said to myself, well, if I was selling a product, right, let's just say it at a store, right? Uh, you know, if I was selling a product and I wanted to make $10,000 worth of this product, right, uh, in the product, let's say cost $200, then that would mean that I would have to sell to 50 new customers every single month for me to make $10,000 from that product. Right, so then I said, well, if I sold if I sold this product at five hundred dollars, you know, could I, you know, I would just need twenty people to make the same ten thousand dollars. Then I thought to myself, well, for you know, imagining stuff, may as well go to a thousand dollars, which would mean I would need ten new people. Then if obviously if I needed, if I had, had a two thousand dollar product, then I would need two, uh, sorry, five people. And if I had a five thousand dollar product, then I would just need two people. So why am I sharing this information with you? Well, the reason I'm sharing this information with you guys is because um, this is basically what exists online, right? There are different ways for you to be able to make money. You can make a little bit of money at a time or you can make a lot of money at a time and you might think to yourself you know well trying to sell a five thousand dollar product or a two thousand dollar product seems way harder than selling you know a two hundred dollar product and in some ways it is but in a lot of ways it's not and the reason why I say that guys is because when you're working online right it's not like uh, you know it's different because when you're you know especially if you're doing any sort of paid traffic or anything like that meaning you're you know you're gonna be paying for advertising and stuff like that like on Facebook ads or Instagram ads or whatever the case is right um, you are able to uh, you know really target down to a marketplace that is looking for the product that you're selling and that's really what makes the big difference about working online versus anything else right because you can be that specific and you can do that so here's an example, right? Let's say if I had a like, let's say let's, on, the, on the low end, right? I'm trying to sell a product that's two hundred dollars, right? The the marketplace for that two hundred dollar product is probably it might be it might be bigger, right? Because people can definitely afford two hundred dollars, um, but the the person who might need that product it might be somebody who is maybe just getting started. So here's an example, uh, you know, let's say somebody who is looking to maybe start building a business online or looking to market their business online, right? Someone who pays two hundred dollars for let's say like a piece of software or maybe like a training course on how to do something, you know, online. Someone who spends two hundred dollars, um, you know, they're they're maybe just getting started in the process, right? They're just starting to learn. They're just starting to get themselves going. And so, you know, two hundred dollars to them seems like a safe investment for them to go ahead and start doing that. Now, let's go to the opposite side. 
let's say somebody who you know, maybe already has a very successful offline business. Maybe they have a chain of restaurants, for example, right? And they want to add an online component to their business. Maybe they want to add, you know, online ordering or something like that to their to their business. And so now they're lear- they're wanting to learn how they could potentially do that to their website, how they how you know the back end stuff and the techie stuff that needs to go along with that, or they're maybe just willing to pay somebody right um you know to basically get it done for them right like a done for you uh, kind of system right and so they would be more than happy to pay depending on how many locations they have maybe ten thousand dollars to get somebody to just come in and do that for them right so they're at a different level and so you know working online you can find these two different markets right you can either work with the beginners or you can work with the people who are willing to invest in their business and so but obviously depending on who you're marketing to is how much money you're going to be making right and so yeah i want you guys to kind of just have it in the back of your head right and you know back of your mind as you're thinking about you know which approach you actually want to do when it comes to building your business and so this is the the three ways that i've honestly made money online and i kind of want to share them now with you so let's break it let's just let's jump into the three different business models so the first thing is that you know i kind of when i started you know i started actually in network marketing and then i went into affiliate marketing and actually i also dabbled in an e-commerce right so i've made money in all these different methods right and so i want to talk to you guys about the first one which is e-commerce and the reason why i pick e-commerce first guys is because I'll, it's very popular right now a lot of people seem to be talking about e-commerce and shopify you know and uh, and amazon selling and all this kind of stuff Right, and don't get me wrong, you can definitely make money, um, you know, doing these, um, doing e-commerce, right? But there is a big thing, which going back to this chart that I share with you guys, right, is it's kind of you're on the left side here of this chart, which means that you need to sell to a lot of people to be able to make a decent amount of money, right? And something that I really want to kind of just warn you guys about, right, is that a lot of times when people are showing you screenshots of the money that they're making in e-commerce, and you know, there's some people who re- do re- make some real, real money. I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not discounting their efforts, right? But there's a lot of people who show like, you know, I, I. You know, know like these ten thousand dollars or hundred thousand dollar months right but what they're not showing you is that's just their overall selling right meaning they're selling all these products however at the end of the day how much they're actually taking home is way less than that right because they have to pay for the products right so in some of these cases and so that's definitely cutting into their profit so the profit margins when it comes to e-commerce are generally lower right so it means that you need to sell to a lot more customers for you to make more money right and so uh, the way that e-commerce works, guys, is, is, is very simple, right? You can either you can either you can even start for free, honestly, when it comes to, to do it, doing it, right? Let's say, for example, you find a product that uh, is being sold on a, maybe on a given website, and you can post it on on eBay and and make it a lot for a profit. So if you've never heard of that, guys, it's basically called um, retail arbitrage. So you guys know that you know there's always retailers that have you know some really great sales. So an example could be that maybe Walmart has a really great sale right now, right? And if you go onto their website and you find, let's say that there's like a bunk bed, for example, that's selling for $150, right? Well, guess what? There's probably, um, and it's a, let's say it's, it's on sale for down from 250. So let's say that regularly it's 250, but it's on sale for 150 right now because it went clearance or something on Walmart. Well, guess what you could do? You could actually go ahead and actually create a listing on eBay um, and price that, that product, let's say maybe at $200, right? So you're making $50 profit, right? And so when you sell it, you basically just go to Walmart and you basically just ship that pro, uh, ship that product to that person who bought who bought it off you. And guess what? You just made yourself $50. It's really that simple, right? But like I said, you're making like little, like little bits of money here and there. So depending on how much income you want to make, you know, you're going to have to have a lot of listings in place. You need to be managing all that stuff, you know, every single day. But if you don't mind doing that stuff, then you can definitely start get started for free doing just that, right? The next step in e-commerce is to kind of get uh, white label products, meaning that you know you maybe like uh, let's say something like a phone case, right? Let's you know phone cases are pretty generic, and you can go ahead and get them made in China or something like that, or you can find them uh, maybe on something like um, Alibaba uh, or AliExpress. Right, and basically, what you could do is you can order a bunch of these, ship them into something like Amazon, right, and then sell them on Amazon for for a profit. So let's say you buy like a thousand of these phone cases, um, right, at like a dollar a piece, and then you sell them at ten dollars a piece. You're just gonna you're about to make ten times your money. So that's uh, that's great. However, the the only thing is the only risk in that, right, is obviously that if your phone cases don't sell or they sell really slowly, right, it's gonna take some time for you to make that money back or at all, right? So that's the thing with with e-commerce, right? So again, we're talking about smaller profit margins generally, and so um, and so that's why you're you know, it's gonna take you a lot more volume for you to be able to make some decent money. So the next uh, kind of business model I want to share with you guys then is affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is very simple. The idea is very, very straightforward. Basically, what we're doing here with affiliate marketing, guys, is that we're finding usually digital products uh, for the most part. There are other other things too, but digital products are the most popular because they're information-based. And so what you're doing is you're selling this information. 
right? It could be other things too. There could be like software and stuff like that. So I have an example here of ClickFunnels, right, which is uh, basically a software that I personally use, right? And uh, and basically what you do is you 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 giving away these free trials. See how it says start your free trial. You as an affiliate, basically what you're doing is you're recommending these products to somebody else, right? So by me recommending a free 14 day trial, right? So it's nothing. I'm not recommending anything that's costing people any money. It's just a 14 day free trial for them to try out this particular software. If it's something that you know meets the needs of their business or whatever they're looking to do, then um, if the person ends up you know buying the product after they've tried it and they really like it, then guess what? I just made a commission. Right, so that's basically the way affiliate marketing works: is that you basically have a digital product, usually or a piece, or a piece of software, right, that you're recommending to people, right, uh, to help, hopefully help them, um, you know, resolve a problem they currently have, right. And basically, by doing that, what you're doing is uh, you're you're getting people interested in the product, and if they buy it, then boom, you make a commission. So you're basically like a digital salesperson, right? Uh, you're basically recommending a product, and somebody buys it, then boom, you make a commission, right? Pretty straightforward. And that's the way it works. So there's websites like ClickBank.com, which is a huge one. Where you see there's a ton of tons of uh, different digital products based on a bunch of different categories that you can go ahead and search right or you can get involved with something like a software maybe there's a piece of software that you already use so just to give you guys an idea about click funnels click funnels basically if you've heard of it already you already know what it's all about but basically it's a piece of software that allows you to go ahead and create um, landing pages websites um, allows you to create sales pages and 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 basically a ton of different basically web-based pages right that you can go ahead and do and it's a very easy to use it's like it's plug and play right really drag and drop so it makes it a lot easier for somebody who was maybe wanting to build a website or, or wanting to build opt-in page or, or looking to build a lot of stuff but um, but yes they're not very techy right they're not very good at, at doing it for themselves and so Basically, they can use this tool that's all, that's very you know user friendly to go ahead and actually build all all this stuff, so they don't have to pay, let's say, a web developer or something like like that to go ahead and actually do this for them, right? So it's a really great solution for somebody like that, right? And so you can see the value in there, right? And you can go ahead and do that. So that's pretty much the way the affiliate marketing kind of business works. Now, the, you're usually this one, guys. If you go back to this to the chart here. Right, you're usually going to be somewhere in like this middle section here, depending on the on the on the price of the product, right? In terms of the commission that you're making, right? Um, now, depending on on the business model too, guys, something you have to keep in mind is that uh, with something like ClickBank, for example, usually you just make sales, uh, you know, on selling one product at a time, right? So you make a one-time commission. With something like ClickFunnels, for example, you have an opportunity to go ahead and actually make a recurring commission because this is a, a monthly service, a monthly paid service that you pay for the software, and so for every month a person pays for the software, you actually make a commission which is pretty cool right and so that way you can basically build a recurring commission so that way you're basically making money every single month right which is really really cool so that's basically what it comes down to when it comes to the affiliate marketing thing I just wanted to kind of throw that in there too so you can think of you know that as a, as a potential option for you as well now the last business model that I want to share with you guys and this is probably the, the, the biggest one for me is basically your freelancing or or having a digital agency so what does this mean so freelancing or a digital agency guys basically means that you might have a skill already that you can go ahead and use to basically sell to a potential client right so let's say for example you are a web developer you are really good at building websites right let's say that's what you studied at school right well what you could do is there's a ton of people there's a ton of small businesses out there that need websites right there's a ton of businesses that don't even have websites yet right and so there's a huge opportunity for you to go out there and, and offer that as a service and people will be more than happy to pay you for it right another thing that you can go ahead and do is people are some people, some people they already have websites and stuff like that but what's happening is that they have um they're having trouble with marketing their actual business right they're trying to get more customers or more people coming through their doors and so there's you know now more than ever there's some really great opportunities for them to be able to go ahead and grow their business and get leads get more customers walking through their doors by using social media paid marketing right or digital marketing so things like google ads things like instagram ads facebook ads right and so if you learn how to do this guys and you can learn how to do the basics of all this stuff guys probably you know between a, a couple of weeks to a month if you really wanted to or if you move really fast right and you really get get into it or you can learn it like in a week right you can learn like at least the basic right for you to master it it's going to take you hours of you know of time to do it but the cool thing is that you can master these things as you're getting paid right but for you to learn the basics of how how to set up all this stuff you can easily learn some of the stuff you know in, in a couple you know like I say in a week or two or a month right whatever time it takes you to learn that's fine but the cool thing of those guys is that when you're doing services like this like a freelance or a digital agency um, you can first off make recurring income right and and you can charge a lot more for it right so for example if you're running Facebook ads for a client 
right let's say there let's say maybe you are working with like a real estate agent or something right a real estate agent um you know they you know they live on leads right they want to have more leads for their business they want to try to get more potential home buyers and sellers right to come you know to pay attention to their to their business right and doing billboards and bus ads and stuff like that is maybe out of their budget right it's maybe a little bit too much right because if you look it up right doing a billboard costs literally thousands of dollars a month right um and uh, by doing things on Facebook, though, the cost of advertising on Facebook is relatively cheaper. You know, for five hundred dollars a month, they could probably generate about a hundred leads for their potential business, right? Maybe even more, depending on what area they're 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 marketing, right? And so they're be more than happy to pay you, you know, a thousand dollars a month, fifteen hundred dollars a month, two thousand dollars a month, you know, depending on the return that you're getting and you're getting them based on your service, right? And that's basically what happened to me here, um, actually, right? So this is actually for my first client, right, that I actually ended up getting when I started my own digital services. I was running Facebook ads for their real estate business, and they're paying me basically almost $1,500 a month every single month, right? And so at, up to this point, I had basically made already over $7,000, and that's just from one client, right? And so basically, this is why I, I believe that uh, doing a freelance work or digital agency is probably one of the best ways to kind of get started when, when it comes to making money online, right? Because you're able to go ahead and actually make a big a big impact in a relatively short amount of time. And you don't need a ton of different clients, right? If you think back to this chart over here, right? If I'm making $1,500 a month, right? Uh, all I need is about like six clients or so, you know, for now six, seven clients for me to be able to make $10,000 a month. And the great thing though, is that this is recurring income, right? So it's not money that I have to resell a new six to seven people every single month. Once I have a client, they're gonna stick around with me for a good number of months or maybe even years, right? Depending on the client, right? And so that way, all I need is, like I said, a handful of clients and they're gonna pay me month after month after month. So I don't have to be looking for new people every single month to go ahead and do this. And that's why I think this particular business model is really, really powerful, right? So. That's kind of what I wanted to share with you guys here in this video. Hopefully, this has been really, really helpful for you. If you are interested in learning a little bit more about the, you know, the digital agency kind of style of stuff, this is basically where I have been, sp I have been spending most of my time in building my business. And so, what I want to do is I want to give you guys a free crash course that I've actually put together. It's a free three-day course where I'm actually going to teach you guys about the digital agency model. You know, how much potential is actually out there for you to make, you know, money using the, the digital agency model. How you can kind of get started with, and how you can land your first client, even if you have no skills or previous knowledge about how to even do any of this stuff you know in the past so if you're interested in that guys I'll, left, I'll definitely leave the link in the description for you and again if you guys have any questions on any of the stuff that I've shared with you guys in today's video you know for sure leave it in the comment section I'll be more than happy to answer any questions for you and again like always give the video a like if you found value in this and I'll talk to you guys in the next video take care